guys! Welcome to Sophia's English Lessons. I'm Sophia. I'm 11 years old and I live in California. So, today we're going to read a book. But before we get to that, <clears throat> I have something to tell you. So, if you read a lot of books, you get smarter. And you can read thicker books like these. Like ones I'm reading now. Let me put this over here. And so, if you keep on reading, listening to my stories, then you might get better at reading English and read thicker books. So that's good. So, and remember, I always go over the hard words in these stories at the end. So please wait and do not pause or go out of the video. So, listen till the end because I will explain everything. So look, I bought this shirt yesterday because I like unicorns. Yeah, so okay. Let's start. So today we're going to read Betty Goes Bananas by Steve Anthony. Okay, Betty Goes Bananas. Betty Goes Bananas by Steve Anthony. Betty was hungry. She saw a banana. She wanted to eat it. No, no, no. But the banana... Oh, and look. There's Betty, the baby gorilla. I think she's a girl because she has her little bow and her pink dress. And look, there's the banana. Would not open. So Betty's right there, but she could not open the banana. Oh no. Betty tried using her hands and her teeth and even her feet. Then suddenly, so Betty's trying to open it with her hands, but it still wouldn't open, so you use your teeth. It still would not open, so she used her feet. But then suddenly, Betty started crying, Wah! and sniffled, and kicked, bang, bang, and screamed. So, Betty's crying and sniffled and kicked. So, she even screamed at the banana until finally she calmed down. There is no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. So, there's Betty. She's calm now. No more screaming or kicking. And then Mr. Toucan comes. Doo -doo. Watch, I will show you how to peel a banana. So look, there's Mr. Toucan. And she's happy because he's helping her. Mr. Toucan showed Betty how to peel the banana. But the banana, so look, he's peeling it for her. The banana was Betty's, and she wanted to peel it. So now she's sad. Betty looked at the banana and looked at Mr. Toucan and looked at the banana again. Then suddenly, so she looked at the banana, and she looked at Mr. Toucan, and she looked at it again. But then she... Betty cried again. And sniffled, and kicked, bang, bang, and screamed, ah! Until finally, she calmed down. 
There is no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. You can peel the banana the next time you have one. Betty started to eat the banana. But then, the banana, so Betty calmed down again, and she started eating it. But then, the banana broke. Oh no, it broke. Look, the banana sliced in half, and they're all looking at it. Betty cried and sniffled and kicked and screamed even louder than before. Bang, bang, ah! She calmed down. There's no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. Or would you like me to have the banana? Betty ate the banana. Yum, yum, yum. So, see, she's eating the banana here. And the banana was delicious. Yum! Then suddenly, so Betty ate the banana. The banana peels right there. She's happy now. Then suddenly, Betty saw another banana. And look, Mr. Toucan went away. And look, there's another banana. The end! Woohoo! Oh, and I'll read you this at the end. It's pretty funny. <coughs> Sorry about that. Who would have thought a banana could cause a big drama? So just because of one banana, Betty cried. <laughs> and sniffled and kicked bang bang and screamed ah! so that was a big drama so I just read Benny Goes Bananas by Steve Antony so I just said earlier I would go over these words some of the hard ones in the story so let's start over there So, let's start with banana, the most appeared word in the book. So a banana is a long yellow fruit that looks like this. See, and it has a stem. Can you see? Maybe I should draw that a little bit bigger over here. So. So there's a banana, it's yellow, and it's a fruit, you eat it, yum, 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 yum. So follow me, banana, banana, repeat after me, banana, good job. So next, feet, feet are your feet like the things at the bottom of your leg? So, I'll draw a picture here. So, there's feet, this whole thing, at the bottom of your leg, you see? So, that's feet. Feet, repeat after me, feet. Good job. Feet is plural, it used to describe two of these, one is just foot. So repeat after me, foot. So next word, teeth. <laughs> these are your teeth. So in teeth, see there's your smile and then there's teeth. See? Follow me. Teeth. Teeth. Good job.
Okay, now there's hands. These are your hands. This whole part right here. So, I'll draw one for you. So there's a thumb. One, two, three, four. I'm really bad at drawing hands, but that's your hand. Okay, so follow me. Hand. Good job. Now, but I'll move over here again. Cried. So, Betty cried a lot. So, cried when tears go down your face. So, this person is sad and he's crying. He's crying. Well. So, cried is when tears come out of your eyes and you cry. <laughs> So, cried. Follow me. Cried. Good job. Now, kicked. Follow me. Kicked. Kicked. Good job. Kicked is when you use your legs to hit someone. So, Pretend this is a person. Ta -da. And then this is another person too. So he walked up there and kick, kick. <laughs> so they use their legs, <coughs> excuse me, to kick someone. So it's kicking. So you use your leg to hit something. So that's what kicking is. Follow me. Kicked. Good job. Now, sniffled. That's what sniffling is. Like, when you're crying, you're like, <laughs> so you sniffle. So follow me. Sniffle. Sniffle. Good job. Next is broke. The banana broke. So it's when something is destroyed or it breaks. So in the picture, it looks like the banana died. But I'm bad at drawing banana sticks. So that's a banana. But when it broke, in half so it broke right there so it broke and then it would fall off because it broke and then it fall to the floor that's sad so broke follow me broke good job so delicious Something tastes very good. So the banana was delicious. Yum, yum, yum. You eat it, but it tastes really good. So after you eat something delicious, you're happy. Woo! <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold, so I cough a lot. So delicious. Follow me. Delicious. Good job! Once more, delicious. Good job! Now, screamed. Ah! I can scream much louder than that, but I'm inside my house right now. So, screamed. So, Betty was screaming. So, she's like... sad or scared or surprised so ah! that's screaming follow me scream screaming scream good job so Betty screamed when her banana broke 
where she didn't peel it for many reasons. So, there's your scream, and then there's always a little tongue. Down. After screaming and kicking and crying and sniffling, Betty always calmed down. That means after she like, ah, then she became normal again. So it became from, sorry, I'll draw that bigger. Calming down is this, ah, and then crying. Two. This calm. <laughs> calm. So calm down. So repeat after me. Calmed down. Calmed down. Good job. Again. Calmed down. Good job. Now. Our last one, Toucan. Remember Mr. Toucan in the book? Who helped Betty peel the banana and other things? So, a toucan is a type of bird. In this book, excuse me, let me find a picture with Mr. Toucan. See, look, there's a good picture of Mr. Toucan. Right up here. So, he's kind of flat, I guess. Toucans are kind of flat. So, if I copy this picture, then it looks like this. And then it has... And then... He has a little body, and then his wings, and then his legs. <laughs> so, I tried drawing it this quickly. It didn't turn out good. Oh, oh, oops, I forgot his tail, and I dropped my marker. So, do you like it? Mr. Toucan! In real life, toucans look kind of different, but it's similar to this. So, follow me, toucan. Good job. Once more, toucan. Good job. So, bye-bye, uh, Mr. Toucan. Okay, so... I think we got over all the words, so review. I just read Betty Goes Bananas by Steve Anthony. And we go over bananas, feet, teeth, hands, cried, kicked, sniffled, broke, and delicious, toucan, calm down, screamed. So those are the words that we reviewed. And if you really like this book, it was a very exciting book. Then you can go to like a bookstore or Amazon where I buy a lot of my stuff and buy this book. So once more, it's Betty Goes Bananas by Steve Anthony. So thanks for listening and remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So bye guys. Woohoo.